Hi, Doppels. Welcome to the final segment of the month. I did not reveal what segment this one. This was the entire month for a reason because this is a collaborative effort. So, who's this? Chrissy B. So every fourth Saturday, what we're gonna give you is a taste of life, and the taste of life is pretty much what we're sampling different snacks from other countries. So yeah, pretty much we're just going to test exotic flavors for you on products, everyday products that you're used to seeing. So today, what we chose to do is taste test Oreos. Taste test Oreos. We love Oreos, regular Oreos, but we have a couple different flavors here that I've never tasted. Have you? No. And I'm sure a lot of you have never tasted it, so why not? Let's give this a shot. So I'm going to take off my glasses so we can get cracking. And what Chrissy B doesn't know is I added another flavor. Really? A secret flavor? Yep. Which one's that? I saw this yesterday in the regular grocery store. So we're going to start out with this because it's the least exotic one. Okay. Alright, so for our first Oreo taste test, since you tend to like this, you want to... Sure. Okay. We have the red velvet cream cheese flavored Oreos. <laughs> Take a look at this guy. Red velvet Oreos. Have you ever had them? I've never had them. So what we're going to do is we have four different sets of Oreos here, okay? Um, one is from America and we have three from Japan, all right? We're going to taste each one, right? Mm -hmm. And based on that, we're going to rate it from one to five. Yeah. Um, we're going to rate how good it tastes. We're going to rate the color, if the color is closely related to what it says. And, um, oh, we're going to rate the presentation if it looks appetizing. So, all right, let's get started. Okay. So we're going to start with red velvet Oreos. They actually look good. Don't you love Red Rebel? Yes, I do. Yes. Alright. So these are the Red Velvet Oreos. Give it a taste test. Mmm. Mmm. No. These taste a lot like Red Velvet. They do. This is definitely a red velvet cake. It says here it's red velvet with cream cheese. So I'm, assu I'm assuming the cream cheese is usually what goes on red velvet as the icing. Is that correct? The icing or the filling? Hmm. Although I don't really taste that much of a cream cheese. Good. It's, yeah. It's like a hint. Yeah. It's very, like a hint. Very subtle. In the cream itself. Yeah. But the cookie does taste mm -hmm. like red velvet. Alright, so I'm gonna finish this. Because it's quite tasty. Alright, so. No, I'm not having more. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you guys a cookie. So, this is the red velvet cookie. It's obviously red, and you can see the cream cheese icing in the middle. So, in terms of taste, from one to five, what do you give it? Four. Four? Mm -hmm. Okay. I, I also give it a four. It's pretty good, but I've had red velvet cakes that taste better, quite frankly, that's me. Is that the reason why you gave it a four? Yeah, and the cream cheese um, flavor wasn't really, it was really subtle. It's not that obvious as if you have a, a regular red, red velvet cake. Okay. So, do you think it looks like a red velvet cake on site? Like, if you were to just see this like yeah. this without the packaging, would you believe it's a red velvet cake flavor? Yeah. So what would you give that? Four. 
I give it a five. Because it really, truly looks like a red velvet cake to me. I mean, especially the color. They got the color down packed. It's not too red. It's not too chocolatey. And the cream cheese in the middle, I mean, what they were trying to do with it, to me, it just seems more like a red velvet cake. Mm -hmm. And presentation-wise, do you think the presentation of it all is good? The yeah. cookie, packaging, mm -hmm. does it look appetizing? Yeah, it does. So what would you give it? Out of five. Out of five, too. Mm -hmm. So I guess our consensus on this one is about a four. Yeah. Between the two of us. I mean, it's rough math, but it's about a four out of five. Yeah. All right? Yeah. Yeah, I like it. Oh yeah, this is my cheat day. So I can do this. All right. So the next one that we're gonna taste test, actually, these are from Japan, and quite frankly, I don't remember which one's which. So I need to. All right, so Aju Strawberry. Sorry, Aju, Amaru Strawberry. So this one is the Amaru Strawberry. This is straight out of Japan. Like I literally bought this from Japan and they sent it to me. And I'm just so amazed by it. It is really what triggered the idea from something that we saw in a market. And I was just like, hey, why not? Let this be another video. But okay, so this is the Amaru Strawberry. What do you think of the packaging? Does it look good? Yeah, it does. It's delicious. If you can see it again, there it is. Got the strawberries in the corner, got the Oreos, and um, although I can't read it, if you can read that, there you go. But, all right, I guess let's, let's dig into this. We've been waiting for this all month, by the way. Ooh, they're individually wrapped. Oh, they are. Yeah. I noticed that about a lot of Japanese um, candies cool. and like, idea. they individually wrap everything. So each one has its own individual wrapper. Yeah, less germs. Everybody going in the I actually package. like the packaging. I do too. It's really cool. nice. It's really cool. <laughs> I swear, they're up on us on everything. Like, even their candies and cookies and everything is great. Ah. Mm, it smells like strawberries. Yes. Oh my god, it smells like strawberries. Hmm. How do I feel about this? It has like a little creamy center. Did you see that? It has like a little gel center. Look, it's right there. Oh. Look, it has a little gel center. Okay. Like you got it down? Mm -hmm. Alright, let's go for it. What do you think? Presentation, I give it a five. Taste, I give it a five. Appetizing, give it a four. Presentation, I give it a five. It's very well packaged, all right? And even looking at the actual packaging itself, like the strawberries themselves on here look delicious. Yeah. You know, it so appetizing. It's, it's very appetizing and <laughs> Taste-wise, it tastes pretty close to strawberries to me. Mm -hmm. I'd give that a five. It, it tastes incredibly close to a real strawberry. It didn't give you the strawberry soda taste. It gave you the off the vine, is strawberries on the vine? No? No? Well, it gave you the taste that you just picked some fresh strawberries. And Appetizing. I yeah. do like the middle. The middle is like what kind of um It's like a gel. It's like a burst of strawberry yeah, it's like in a, the center. It's like a Oreo gushers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
It's like an Oreo like, gushers. You don't know when it's coming. It just hits you. <laughs> so I think... But I do like that idea. So you want to give it a 4 out of 5 or a 5 out of 5 total? Between two of us, Because I think you both agree on it. I give it a 5. 5? So we... 5 out of 5. Mm. Alright, you want to do the next one? Sure. Which one do you want to do? Caramel. This one is the... Black. Mm -hmm. Oh, this one also has a gel mm -hmm. in the middle. I don't know what flavor is that. So this is a Mont Black Oreo. I'm going to taste this one. Can't wait. So Mont Black, if you're not familiar with it, it's kind of like this cookie that's like whipped up with this kind of like um, this hazelnut kind of situation. Or in some cases, it could be, I believe, um, caramel. Again, good packaging. Not sure if you saw the package below. That's the packaging. All right. Again, from Japan. It's 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 a really nice package, and to me, it looks appetizing, and it shows you exactly what it's supposed to taste like in the corner right there. Got a little icing action going on there. Yeah. Hold on. Hold on. Hold I give on. it a five. Hold on. Hold on. Sorry, taking too long. I'm anxious. I do give it a five for presentation. I like the, you know, uh, icing texture design on top. Um, I'm gonna also give it a five for uh, presentation because based on what I saw, what Mount Black cake is supposed to look like, and plus it's right here. Mm -hmm. It looks like it a little bit. Yeah. They definitely tried. Not what I expected Neither. because this has like a coffee taste, and I'm not a coffee lover. Mm. So, are those coffee beans? Is that a coffee bean on top? I don't know. I can't see. Is it? Is it's a that, hazelnut. What is that? It's hazelnut? a hazelnut. Mm. Well, it doesn't taste like hazelnut at all. It doesn't. I don't like hazelnut either. So, this one, not so much. Don't like it. So I give it a one. See, for me. I'm gonna give it like a two. It tastes like coffee. Yeah. Like, it literally tastes like coffee and it doesn't taste like hazelnut coffee. It tastes just like just regular coffee from me or espresso or something. Okay. And I'm just not a huge coffee fan. So, I give this a, nah, I give this about a two. Because if you're a coffee fan, you'll like this. Yeah. Cause it tastes like coffee. But for me, it's, it's a miss. And I mean, presentation was great. The taste not so great. What was the last one? It definitely looks appetizing. It looked appetizing, but the taste is getting me. I, I think between the two of us, I think this is about maybe a three out of five. Or is it more like a two out of five? Yeah, look, it's a three out of five. If you like coffee, you'll like this. If you don't like coffee, you will not like it. And I'm not gonna finish it. I'm, I need some water. I don't. I don't like coffee. All right. The last one, also from Japan, is supposed to be chocolate strawberries. Got it? Chocolate strawberries. So, the box outright looks good. I mean, it the presentation look. looks good. It, it looks like chocolate strawberries to me. It looks delicious. And I'm gonna get right in here. Let's open this one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I definitely opened that wrong. I definitely opened it. <laughs> I opened it wrong. Again, individually packaged. Look at that. And it comes in a nice little box. Now this isn't your typical Oreo. You know, it's 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 definitely in like bar form, but it is part of the Oreo brand. It's just a completely different flavor. And as you can see here, they're individually wrapped. Just like so. Let me 
mean, the packaging is great. I give, I give the presentation on this a five. I give it a five too. It looks like it's gonna taste good. Yeah. So did the Mount Black though. Chocolate strawberry. No, wait a minute. This smells like a chocolate strawberry. Like Straight chocolate. up. It smells like chocolate covered strawberries. It smells like chocolate covered strawberries, like the kind you give on Valentine's Day. I mean, um, did I say it right? Yeah. Chocolate covered strawberries. Yeah. 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 Mm. Taste that also give it a five. Some point. Okay. Here's the thing on taste for me. It, t it tastes good. I would eat this again. It tastes good. But it smells a lot like chocolate covered strawberries, but it doesn't taste like chocolate covered strawberries to me. The strawberry is like a hint. And the chocolate kind of overpowers it. Is it because it's dark chocolate? No, it's just because you don't taste the strawberry for me. Like when we did the first strawberry one, that was straight up strawberry. Like it was in your face. Yeah, that one had a little bit more strawberry yeah. um, to it. But I like how this one tastes. You can see the texture difference with the strawberry too. And I like the taste, but it doesn't taste like chocolate covered strawberries to me. I give this a, a three out of five. Only because I was expecting it to taste like chocolate covered strawberries, and it just doesn't. So, I would give this to you, like for Valentine's Day or something, like this is a nice chocolate, but not for what it advertised for. I give it a five all the way. Five out of five on appetizing as well. So I guess between Chrissy, B, and I, it's a four out of five. Yep. So, that's it. That's it. So every fourth Saturday, Chrissy, B, is going to be nice enough to grace our presents <laughs> and do some taste tests. We have three months worth of taste testing in a box behind this <laughs> that yes. you can't so see. So you're in for a treat. So you're in for a treat. <laughs> I hope you love this because it wasn't cheap. I, I won't lie, it wasn't cheap because um, I literally bought all of this stuff from Japan and had it shipped here. And um, I was just lucky enough to get the red velvet yesterday when I went to the grocery store. But um, that's what we're gonna do. Mm -hmm. So. Um, this week was Oreos. Should we announce next week or? No, it'll be a surprise. Be a Stay surprise. tuned for next week. Okay. Or next uh, vlog on that. <laughs> okay. Well, all right. Then stay tuned. Next. For the next episode. Next of episode of Taste of Life. Taste of Life. And that's going to be the fourth Saturday of every month. Next Saturday will not be a Life Flight series. I'm sticking to four a month, and there happens to be five. Saturdays in the month. Sorry. <laughs> but I still love you. Most likely you'll get a vlog from me anyway. Um, and is there anything else I need to make sure you know? No, I don't. I hope you enjoyed the series overall. I hope you enjoyed everything I did for the entire month. Put down, downstairs, downstairs. Put down below <laughs> your comments. Please like this video. Please share it. Because I know a lot of you like candy. I know a lot of you like um, foods like this. And we just basically want to taste it for you. So if you also have different types of um, maybe candies, chocolates, and treats that you want us to try, any flavors that you've come across, let us know in the comments too or email me at liferiley at gmail.com and I'll try to get them. We'll taste test them and we'll shout you out for getting it. So look, live life, life demands results, and it's a wrap. Yep. Bye. Bye. <laughs>
that Dominican music. See, look, see, see, see that man right here? Just, 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 he's just grooving to that.